So guys, today we're going to solve an example of concurrent forces. How to solve a resultant force of forces acting at one point. So when forces are acting at one point, they are called concurrent forces. We're going to use method of uh, components. So, okay, so these are your comp uh, forces acting at point A. This is your uh, y-axis and this is our x-axis. Okay. So at point A, you have force going to your right, you have 20 kilonewtons. A force acting inclined upward to your right, 16 kilonewtons at 60 deg 62 degrees from the horizontal. And you have 12 kilonewtons acting upward to your left, inclined at 40 degrees. Okay, so... Um, we are going to use method of components. In components, we take vertical co components and horizontal components. Okay, here we're going to solve for 16 kilonewtons. This is 16 kilonewtons. What are the components of 16 kilonewtons? So, if we're going to draw a rectangle, if you're going to draw a rectangle, here you have a vertical component, you have a vertical component, which is actually your FV. This vertical component is the same thing as this one. And you also have a horizontal component. So you have a rectangle. So this vertical component and a horizontal component are the components of your 16 kilonewtons. So the horizontal component, this horizontal component there is FH, which is equivalent to 16 cosine of 62 degrees. This is 62 degrees inclined from the horizontal well, the answer is 7.51 and the vertical component which is the same thing as this one is equivalent to your fb 16 sine of 32 and the answer is 14.13 so that is going to your right for the horizontal component and the vertical component here is going up now let us solve for 12 kilonewtons. That's 12 kilonewtons. It is acting to your left at an angle of 40 degrees. That is 40, 40 degrees. So again, you are able to form a, a rectangle and you have a vertical component. That's your vertical component, which is FV. You have your FV and a horizontal component here. That is your horizontal component, which is your F. H. Okay, so FH is equivalent to 12 cosine of 40. That is 12 cosine, so the adjacent side of 40 degrees. And FB, this one, which is the same thing as this vertical force there also, is equivalent to 12 sine 40, which is 7.71. It is acting upward for the vertical force and the horizontal force is acting to your left. These are what we call as your components of 12 kilonewtons so if you're going to put all of these figures in one you now are going to have the horizontal component of 20 which is just horizontal it is this one and 7.51 which is this 751 is placed here as the component for 16 your 14.13 here as the vertical component of of 16 the vertical component of 12 is 7.71 previously so and the horizontal component of 12 is 9.19 also previously so so it's acting to your left it's acting upward you could see it in the figure so if you're going to get the resultant of all vertical forces we have this vertical force here fv we call it as the summation of our fv and the summation of our FB is 14.13 plus 7.71. If you add 14.13 plus 7.71, the result is 21.84 kilonewtons. Okay, kilonewtons. So that's the total result vertically. Horizontally, you have 20 minus 7.51 minus, oh no, 20 plus 7.51 because both of them are going to your right then since 9.19 is opposite that is supposed to be subtracted and you have a result 
of your summation of forces horizontal if you're going to add 20 and 7.51 subtract by 19.19 you have an answer of 18.32 okay so that is the resultant of all these forces along the vertical and along the horizontal now we want to get the resultant at this point you have a certain resultant you have a certain resultant we call it as a certain resultant r what is that so if if you're going to have that as your as as the box which is this one which is this box which is this box here and you have that as your resultant so all you have to do is to form a box given these two sides the vertical and the horizontal and the resultant therefore is actually the square root it is the square root of your summation of your forces horizontal squared plus the summation of your forces or vertical squared so um, you now have a result of the square root of the summation of forces horizontal is 18.32 you have 18.32 squared plus the vertical is 21.84 squared so if you're going to simplify you have a result of 21 no it's 28.51 kilonewtons so that is your resultant this is the resultant it is equivalent to 28.51 kilonewtons okay however since it is a vector form you need to know the angle from the horizontal here we need to know the that's the vertical that's the horizontal and we need to know this this particular angle this angle here this angle and that angle is angle theta it's angle theta now we want to know that angle theta excuse me okay so this one that's your angle theta and angle theta is equivalent is equivalent to tangent inverse tangent inverse of your vertical uh, summation of your vertical components and your summation of your horizontal components which is actually equivalent to inverse tangent of 21 all over 18.32 so 21 all over 18.32 inverse tangent gives you a result of 50 50 degrees 50 degrees so that's actually equivalent to 50 degrees okay so that's from the horizontal you could show it in a figure or you could just write it as equivalent to resultant equivalent to 28.51 28.51 kilonewtons kilonewtons inclined inclined at 50 degrees 50 degrees from your horizontal 50 degrees to the right it's because it's acting to the right okay thank you